Hi, thanks for watching. Let me tell you a bit more about the car. Seeing as though you're watching this video, you must have a little bit of an interest or a bit of curiosity, shall we say, in, in what's, uh, what the content of this video is all about. So let me tell you what the car is, first of all. For those that aren't aware, it's a Rover 216 Coupe, which means it's from the Rover 200 range and has a 1.6. At this time, it would be the Honda engine. That's what is in our car. Uh, so it's a 1.6 Honda engine, and ours is mated to a five-speed manual gearbox. They were launched in 1992, the, the coupes, after the very successful introduction of the 200s and 400s from 1989 onwards. And ours that you're looking at here is from August 1995. Being an early N registration means it gets the Honda engine in this model. Later in the N reg uh, uh, year, they moved uh, to a, a a different uh, set of engines and including they replace this one with a 1.6 k-series engine now i think personally they're quite a sleek uh, design and uh, even though the roof line is is lower than on the hatchbacks and the saloons uh, there's actually quite a bit of room inside i'm six foot two i've got plenty of headroom in the front and actually you can squeeze in the back not bad for leg room yes it's not a big a big four-door saloon but actually, you, it's not it's not bad. It's, it's okay. It's, it's certainly comfortable enough. And in the back, there's two individual seats, which will show you... Well, it's sculpted into two seats. I'll show you that in a moment. So ours is finished in platinum silver um, because it's uh, one of the uh, later, later cars. Not The initial ones came out in a colour called Quicksilver. This is uh, platinum, our car. And was first registered, actually, on the 9th of August. I would say 1995. The first owner was a Rover dealer, we believe, um, which was RH Collier. Um, yeah, that's from, they were from Birmingham. And then uh, over the first six months, it moved through the Rover network until it was sold in early 1996 uh, to a gentleman, Graham, who bought it as a retirement present for his mum. She used to have a Rover 213S. Uh, for those who are familiar with Keeping Up Appearances, the TV programme, uh, you might recall a lady called Hyacinth Bouquet had a Rover 200 of that shape. Well, Graham's mum had a 213S and he bought this to replace it for her. Now, she had the car 19 years. She had it until uh, 1990... Sorry, not 1990... 2015 when a gentleman called Nick bought it. Now in that time um, uh, his mother actually gave up driving. Graham's mum stopped driving in 2012. So from then on until Nick bought it the car was sawned and then Nick bought it like me a rover enthusiast um, and uh, took great care of it. So in its time it's been serviced very regularly. Yes okay wasn't used for a few years, but actually there are 23 services um, for it in the uh, now just turned 27 years um, that the car has been around. So I think that's pretty good service history. And uh, for considering it's uh, been sawned for, for a few years. Now, also in the time we've owned it, we bought it just before lockdown actually in 2020 um, we had a cam belt done then because nick had bought it five years sooner uh, five years earlier he'd had a cam belt done then and it was due when we bought it based on age certainly not on mileage it's currently on uh, 45 and a, and a few hundred miles 45,000 and a few hundred um, so we had a cam belt done like Nick did, we had a water pump fitted as well at the same time. It, it's a false economy if you don't put the water pump on, if you're not aware, um, on these kind of engines. Um, lots of cars, the water pump is driven by the same belt, the same cam belt. Um, some cars are separate. Um, my everyday car, um, the water pump isn't powered um, by the cam belt. But on these it is, and it's prudent to have that change as well at the same time. So we had that done. Uh, we... We've loved having the car. Um, it's been great over these last few years. Um, and my, my dad, who actually runs this one, I, I up until recently had a different Rover, a Rover 200 VI, a, a very low mileage white one. Um, 
and uh, dad's just bought a rover 75 um, so we're, we're quite keen rover people now um for those that uh, know a bit about rover 200 you'll notice that actually the color of the interior is a little un unusual now ours actually has um the option of stone beige leather so let me just show you that so when these came out what you actually got was uh, uh the same shape seats uh so there were a black cloth in the middle and uh black velour on the bolsters um but on this one um it's been optioned with the uh, cream well stone beige i should call it is the proper term stone beige leather interior see what i mean two uh, seats in the back and it really is in great nick you know look at we love it it's just nice to have a car that's uh, you know 27 years old now and still looking in great nick you know hear that leather creak you know look at that i think it's lovely now underneath these these are mats that i have made for dad's birthday but underneath they're just protecting what our original rover mats also carpeted also in stone beige so i'll go around and i'll show you the other side oh no it's just telling us it's uh chiming uh, uh at the uh, church here t-bar roof meaning you can tilt up the glass panels individually remove them individually or remove them both and take out the bar that you see going across the center which is a, a gutter um of course it doesn't rain in i'm not these are not known for for raining in these models this uh, of course doesn't and it's particularly nice i've driven it here tonight to do this video with the roof out so the t-bar out and both glass panels pop them in the boot absolutely ace lovely um, so it's a bit halfway between a you know a solid roof and having a convertible but just look you know great great condition now one thing that this does feature um, and some of the early models didn't get it is a height adjustable driver's seat um, that was uh, optional on some of the models at the very beginning this one actually has one um, and then if we look under the armrest what it does have is it's got to be from from 1995 one of the i would say one of the early first cars to have a cup holder or rather a can holder because if you just look there's a slight, but you can see there's a there's a, a slight cut out here, a slight cut out on that side, and you can see where your cans of pop go. But I think that's, that's particularly handy, you know, on a car from from this era. I think that's quite good to have a have a can holder. You know, there's there's nowhere else for one. Of course, because it's a car of its age, they have a radio cassette sounds quite good actually and a bit of cassette storage for six cassettes there's just three in there at the moment but let me take you around the other side now unfortunately it's just started raining ever so slightly um, but you see alloys great condition it really doesn't look like a car that's done um, well it's not done many miles that's actually 27 uh, years old rear wiper Qu quite rare to have such a shaped car with a rear wiper because of course you don't get a lot of spray splashing up the back but nonetheless rover put one on i had a, a coupe back in the day uh, uh, back in 1995 when they were actually called at that age um, just a rover coupe not a 200 because by the time my model came out which was the same body but a different dashboard and the rover engines um, by my, the time mine had come out, the new bubbly shape for Rover 200 was out. So it would seem silly for Rover to market this as a 200 when it looked completely different to the curvy shaped 200. So they, they just branded this as the Coupe. Um, the 200 Cabriolet became the Cabriolet and the Rover 400 Tourer. Yep, you guessed it, just became the Tourer. Um, now in, in mine, it, it was lovely, same colour, 
slightly different inside um, different dashboard but it was just yeah just felt quite special i must admit driving this brings back loads of memories and i'm sure for some people watching the video um some of you might remember these from back in the day you might even have owned one um if you have be interesting to know about it put something in the comments if you've still got one now then yeah let me know by the way <laughs> If, if you zoom in you might spot a black speck on that front wing it's a fly that's just landed on landed on the front wing so what else can i kind of tell you about the car well they were designed with frameless doors um so or rather should I say frameless windows meaning so when that door is open you can see if the window was down it's just very low uh, there's no frame around it that's that was, that's a godsend in a tight garage ours isn't bad i have a lot of racking down one side and i never catch it i have um tea towels actually cable tied to the uh, to the racking um but you never catch the door but it just makes it easier to get out if you leave the window all the way down it, it's so much easier to get out of the car in in uh, in a particularly tight space so this is ours in the uh, boot is uh, the toolkit completely unused still in its cellophane and yeah we we really enjoy driving it it's it's lovely it, it's very comfy um, even though it's a sporty car you know and it's got very sporty seats let's just show you those again it's really 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 comfy let's just show you you know they really really hug you if I just show you under here, take out the, the mat, as I say, that we use for when we're driving the car, you know, lovely Rover 200 mats under there. And this is a bit of a nice touch. Um, I'll explain who this is in a minute. You see that says Streamline on the key ring. If I just take you around the back, you'll see Streamline garages. streamline garages and just over to the tax disc you're going to see where they are of course i could just tell you but i'll show you so that, that's the first tax disc that uh, graham and his mum had on from when they bought it in. so yeah it was around june 96 they bought it because they've taxed it for 12 months and it expired in uh, may uh, may the 31st 1997 um, so that was their first tax disc there are a few tax discs with the car um so yeah Streamline, let's just go back and I'll tell you a bit more about Streamline. So Streamline Rover, the garage actually still exists. It's on, as I said there, the address is White London Industrial Estate, Morecambe, which isn't far from us. Now, uh, Streamline have long since gone, but that was the Rover dealer at the time. Now, that's where Graham bought it from because his mum um, lived in, or possibly still, hopefully she still does, um, she's still around with us, uh, lives in Arnside, uh, a nice part of the northwest. And Graham bought it from Streamline. There's quite a few uh, bits and bobs in the uh, handbook pack relating to the uh, uh, sales people and the service people. There's some business cards in there to do with Streamline. Now, they were bought out by a company called Rayrig. And Rayrig, I remember when I was about ooh, 17 or something like that, they owned a dealership in Bowness on Windermere. And uh, we're selling Rover, of course, there. So clearly over time, they then went and, and bought up Streamline um, on Whiteland. Ray Rig still exist. Um, of course, not selling Rover. Um, they now sell Fiat. And so the dealership in Whiteland in the same place, just selling uh, Fiat cars instead, of course. Now, for those of you that are my friends who are looking at this because I've probably sent you a link, um, you'll in lot surprise you that I've got some notes written down. So in true um, my style, I'm just having a flick through them just to check, did I tell you everything? Now that's 14 minutes of your life. I'm afraid you're not going to get back. Uh, but thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the car, well, feel free to pop some notes um, in, the, uh, in the comments. I'm off now to enjoy the drive home. Uh, don't think it's going to rain very much. There's very little... In, it looks like there's very little in the sky it's quite it, it's reasonably bright there's not much dark cloud but still gonna get it uh, get it home put it back in the garage but i'll certainly just enjoy that nice kind of relaxing drive back yeah 
So thanks very much for watching. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching again. Bye.